me and goes, not good, I forgot your fucking pizza. Turns away, walks down the driveway, gets in his car and drives away. And I just started laughing. That's the only thing you can do in that situation is just to laugh at this, how ridiculous it is. My wife's like, what is going on? I'm like, look, I'm high, but I have no idea what the fuck is happening. This is not my fault. I called a pizza place up. I go, I don't know what just occurred here, but your delivery gentleman came to the door and uh, he didn't have the pizza and then he yelled at me and left. <laughs> the guy on the phone was like, oh, shit, bro. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, man. He's new. What are you going to do? He's new. He's a newbie. The greenhorn. I go, he's new. What, is, what does he do? He goes, pizza delivery. I go, did anyone explain this fucking genius what his job is? <laughs> the whole thing is in the title. Pizza delivery guy. What do you want me to do? Deliver fucking pizza. He goes, I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a pizza for free. 20 minutes later, knock on the door, open it up. The same dude is standing there. This time with a pizza. No eye contact. He's looking at the floor. And I don't know what to say. People are crazy. you gotta, you got to tread lightly. I was like, hey, man, um, are you okay? You know, what's, are you, what's going on with you? He's like, I'm sorry, man. Cause oh, I'm just really fucking high, bro. <laughs> I go, so am I, dude. That's why I know this pizza two and a half goddamn hours ago. Did you, did you have a lot of deliveries? No, just yours. I go, oh my god. You got in the car with no pizza, drove to my house, sans pizza. And then I guess, you know what, obligated to come out, yell at me, I go, what kind of shit are you smoking? He goes, it's really good. I go, fine, you have a new job. You're my new drug dealer. You're just going to the <laughs> They got us up at the nice double tree with uh, internet in a lot of hotel rooms. This is one of the first that you have to plug your ethernet cable into the computer. Yeah. Jerking off at a desk, ladies and gentlemen, putting in business hours. Don't sit in three two twos for fucking business chair. You won't like what you find. Just so much better to jerk off when you're. Like it's, it's it's easier when you're in a hotel room by yourself, but when you're at home, I love when I get home late at night. I love to play my favorite game. Try to jerk off without getting caught. It's great. Because <laughs> it's tough. You don't think? You, women, have you ever caught your husband or your boyfriend jerking off? Do you think you have? Yeah. Oh, look, look at them, they don't, they don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, you fucking, trust me, he does it. He's probably done it since you've been here tonight. Maybe you went to the bathroom or something. You don't think you've caught him. Think about this. Have you ever walked into a room where he is by himself and he just jumps up and starts answering questions you didn't even fucking ask? <laughs> Guess what? He's not playing Marchese in there, right? He's <laughs> drilling it. Don't feel bad, he's a filthy animal. Him, me, every guy in this room is. If you had sex with your husband or your boyfriend for 23 hours a day, you know what he'd be doing that 24th hour? Touching himself, thinking of crazy shit. <laughs> My wife won't let me donkey punch her. I don't know why, maybe she's rude. Up here I can donkey punch anyone I want. It's me time. Hey, there's midgets going in on the doors, ice cream trucks. <laughs> I get caught, and I try not to get caught. I set up traps around the door, got newspaper and bubble wrap and shit, but my wife's crafty. So I came up with a new plan. This is what I do, and I'll leave you with this. Now I just do it, right? And if she walks in and catches me, I just look at her and I go, hey. <laughs> you're either in or you're out. What do you want to do? member to join us uh, for this fucking unbelievable weekend. Plays my little brother on the show. He's uh, Canadian. He's sweet. He's innocent. And, uh, and uh, you guys recognize him from his many characters. Put your hands together for John Lejoie! What's up, Galeroo? Give it up again for Steve Rennes. Is he sweet? Guys, I've been having the fucking best time of my life. It's been awesome. It was my first Bonnaroo. I think. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, no, everyone's been so cool. I've been hanging out everywhere, meeting tons of people. Except for, like, one guy yesterday. They're, like, drunk, aggressive dudes. Like, they don't belong here. I think they're, like, three in the whole, in the whole place. Yeah, so
so fucked up. Like, everyone's having fun. This guy, I think he recognized me, and like, he wanted to fight me. And I'm like, what? Are we like gladiators? Like, you want to fight? I mean, you know, drunk guys. Like, it doesn't matter what, they'll make up a reason if there's no reason, or they'll take something small and like blow it out of proportion. It was, okay, this guy wanted to fight me. It's fucking ridiculous. This guy wanted to fight me because I fucked his wife in front of his kids. <laughs> what? <laughs> Relax, dude, I'm a comedian. I do those kinds of things. <laughs> No, a lot of fucked up shit's been happening to me uh, since I got here. Um, this, actually, I wrote this on Friday after something really fucked up happened to me. Please don't tell me you want me. Please don't tell me you want to touch me. Stop telling me you wanna get nasty Stop telling me you wanna F me Stop trying cause we're not 